the CBC is a complete and utter embarrassment for our nation. I know we've said it many times. They are a total joke. It's, it's, it's a disgrace, actually, what they have become. It's like the CBC have blinders on, you know? It's like they, like they refuse to acknowledge the reality around them. That, one, no one is watching them. Their ratings are plummeting. Also, their revenue is plummeting. They have to get bailed out with more and more money every single year. The government has to keep giving them more and more money, our money, every single year for them to stay afloat. And on top of that, conservative party members have voted in two leaders of the party who have both run with a key promise on their leadership campaign to defund the CBC. But the CBC still refuses to acknowledge that they are off step with Canadians. They are not providing Canadians with content that fulfills the CBC's mandate, which is to help promote Canadian culture. Two weeks ago, and I can't believe we missed this, but we did miss this. Two weeks ago, the CBC hosted on CBC Gem, they published a documentary called Deconstructing Karen. Let me just read to you how the CBC describes this documentary. In Deconstructing Karen, white women attend the wildest dinner party of their lives. The main course is a radically open and honest conversation on racism. While sipping wine and passing the breadbasket, these women go on an eye-opening journey, discovering how they uphold white supremacy every single day. For some guests, there are epiphanies. For others, there is a resistance. But for all the women, something changes and they can never unknow the painful truths revealed over dinner. Wow, how, how powerful from the CBC. What you're about to watch was paid for by your hard-earned tax dollars. That's a very important factor. I always try and remind people, whether it's on Fake News Friday or it's on this show, anytime you see something absurd from the CBC, just remember, it was you who paid for it. What you watch in this show is basically some communistic struggle session straight out of Mao's Cultural Revolution, straight out of Mao's China. Basically what's going on here is you have a room full of white women pay for a black woman to tell them all how racist they are. To tell them, actually, you are the problem. You are the real problem here. You are actually very racist. You uphold white supremacy. I mean, look at how she describes what she does at these dinners. Raised to Dinner was founded by these two women, and they make a business off of telling other white women how racist they are. <laughs> you hurt my feelings. <laughs> The market we have identified is white women who call themselves liberal or progressive or Democrat to not only change themselves, but begin to change their children, their families, their co-workers, their friends. I know it sounds bizarre, but I used to be a white feminist, a white woman trapped in a brown body. And then I you know, woke up and I started doing anti-racism work. When I first started talking about racism, I think the thing that I was totally unprepared for was when, you know, you just talk about white people. You say the words white people, and those white people want to come and kill you. For some reason, somewhere in the, along the process of the CBC, they decided, actually, yes, this is a perfect thing for us to put the taxpayer dollars toward. This is a perfect thing for us to highlight for Canadians. We don't need to import American race politics into this country. In fact, that's the last thing I think we all want in this country. But if you're the CBC, that seems to be their priority. They want to inject this stuff straight into our culture and do so by pushing it through the form of documentary. Um, so I want a show of hands of everyone at this table who is racist. I want to cry. So I can't sit here? No. You gotta go. Sorry, sis. Okay, I'm gonna hold it in. Okay. No, I'm not saying he's insane. I'm saying it I is insane. I get it. Insane. But Can what we're on? saying is this is America. This, I, I want to ask also to stop acting shocked. So part of white feminism is, is acting so surprised when it we tell you. But it is, not why acting. are you telling us not to act the way that we act if it is surprising? Because to me, that is surprising. White, that upholds white supremacy. That makes me very angry because I don't look at that. What? I was born in 1950. You know what I expect of white women? Not a damn thing. Nothing. I expect nothing of you because you have never given me anything. But you know, out, out of all your years in life, mm -hmm. you've never trusted a white woman. Well, let me put it this way. The ones I have trusted have come back to... Disappoint you. Disappoint me. Yeah, that's sad. Again, the CBC mandate 
Supposedly, the reason as to why they get money from the taxpayer is to promote Canadian culture. But this documentary is only intended to import American race politics. I would love it. I, w I would love it, actually, if this episode of Ray Showed was seen by someone who was a defender of the CBC. Someone who could watch this clip, watch this passionate eye documentary called Deconstructing Karen, and tell me why exactly the Canadian taxpayer, the hardworking Canadian taxpayer, who's had to put up with years of crap from this public broadcaster, why we should, spe why we should be funding this garbage. Why we should be funding this overtly racist garbage. Tell me. I, I would love to know why.